How you doing, Jay? Uh, exhausted. I uh, this stuff is uh, quite tiring. You know, it, it just. I'm just trying to share aircraft tracking information, and people keep coming after me. Well, it is quite something to have two of the most powerful people in the world going after this college student who's in his 20s, who's kind of doing this as a hobby. But it's funny. You talk right back to him, too. I saw the tweet where uh, you were telling musk that uh hey you know you said this a year ago and here we are or something to that effect and it was really kind of snarky and i was like well like that jack sweeney's got some yeah balls. well i mean he's he's saying really bad stuff about me and then um, you're a horrible human so, being that's what he said he you're said a jack's horrible yeah. human being. Whoa. why are you suing for defamation um, yeah yeah i know i mean <laughs> that would be kind of funny um <laughs> um but this um, there was there, in the past. It was known that uh, Grimes, you know, yeah. uh, who he had a few children with, was using the jet tracking to find out where her kids were. And so, like, obviously, there's a reason for him to not like me. And I just replied to that tweet of him with the screenshot of, uh, you know, how she's using that. So, like, obviously, he's going to say something. That's, that's like, pretty, pretty ballsy, Jack. That's I mean, nice comeback. You really want to get in a pissing match with Elon Musk? I mean, you are in one. Richest man. Uh, I mean, it, it can't really get any worse than what he already said. I mean, he said he would. He said the same thing as Taylor. He just tweeted it, basically. Hmm. Um, so what, what happens? Like, do your parents ever go, oh, Jack, Elon Musk says you're a horrible human being. We don't like this. Can you please stop tracking these jets? Um, well, I mean, they get concerned a little bit, but I mean, at the same time, they're, you know, proud of me. I mean, I got on the uh, Forbes 30 under proud 30. Proud for stalking right? these people? Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Forbes 30 under 30. Wow, that's amazing. It's great. Yeah, can you launch yeah. something out of that, though, that would get you out of the stalking business? <laughs> yeah, hopefully. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to have, uh, I got a few internships to offer for the summer, so I mean, that's nice. Internships? There uh, should be something beyond an internship. I mean, you've done something yeah, really yeah, kind of amazing. Yeah, hopefully. How about an yeah. offer? Okay, uh, what is there something Taylor could offer you? I don't know. I mean, it. I feel like I would upset people if I took anything to shut it down. I feel like no. you know I got to uphold that service and value of you know sharing that information. Yeah, but I mean, but I mean, well, Jack, come on. What, what if you principles. got to what if you got to fly with her to Japan and then the Super Bowl and then back to Japan? I mean, that'd be a pretty fun uh, weekend. <laughs> Jack, why why uh, do you feel like this is such an important thing to keep up? I mean, I know it, it gets you, it keeps you in the news. I mean, every time you show up in the news, I can't believe how many people we hear from. But I, know, uh, I can't either. Um, <laughs> but what do you? I mean, what do you get out of this? What's so important about letting everyone know where Elon Musk and Taylor Swift like, are? Why do you think that's you know, so part important? Of it's something that I enjoy is like you know the research and continuing to program what I do, and then uh, if it's public then, you know, why can't I do it? And then I think that I'm helping the people. You know, it's like another form of journalism almost. Where, uh, no, it is. You know, I agree with you. Yeah. But yeah. What, how are you, who are you helping? I'm, I'm not really sure about how that works. People. What people? Well, I, for one, well, am holding people so, accountable with their emissions. Yeah, that's one thing. But, um, <laughs> you know, the, oh, the, Jack, you're so say, uh, <laughs> Swift's team said I have, like, no reason to be tracking them. Well, the people who grow, grew the tracking accounts for her were all her fans. So, like, ah. um, and they cited creepy comments, whereas routinely the comments were mostly supporters more so than otherwise. So, like... It just it doesn't add up, and it's just weird how she they they sent the letter like two days after there was a, a lot of articles about her and private jet emissions. <laughs> yeah, because they're no, they're I, posing it as a stalker issue because she just got done with that yeah. too. Jack, if we went through your Twitter and your social media, we'd find that you have a lot of concern about emissions and uh, carbon footprints. Is that something you've always been concerned about? If we go through um, your social media, will we find evidence of that? <laughs> Yeah, there's some of it. Yeah, um, but I I would say that sure about that. You know, I think when I track these people, some people are like, "Whoa, I didn't know these people fly that much," or like, like I'm just bringing awareness to it. And I'm not necessarily like saying that they can't fly, but I think that when you try to hide that you are flying, I think it's like even worse. You know. 
Jack, so, you, you don't comment on it, though. You just present the facts, right? I mean, and it's all publicly available yeah, facts. Yeah, well, I do, I do show the emissions, uh, the estimated emissions. But, <laughs> oh, Jack. But, that, but isn't that... You well, you're not commenting. You're not saying anything about it. Because, like, I want to kind of, like, what present it as, like, p- people can do what they want with the information. Not, you know, I don't want people to go and harm her or anything, but... Of course not. I don't want. I don't want to be biased in any way. I just want to put what I find and what I research there and what the facts are. Um, now, have you found that is good journalism? <clears throat> it really is. Have you found a way to monetize this at all? Um, I really need to work more on my website, but it, it's just like one <laughs> thing after another. Jack, Jack, you said that last time this. we talked to you. I know it's hard. It's hard <laughs> with school and everything. Um, what's what's in school everything? School. Okay, schools. We know what school is. That's not much. But what's and everything? Well, the good thing Chicks. is every time I I've said something about it, I have more and more tools from stuff I've learned. And uh, yeah. Okay, are you meeting any girls out of this? Because this is impressive. Hell yeah! You are is. a guy, a very young guy, and you are going toe to toe with Elon Musk and now Taylor Swift. I mean, that yeah. is serious yeah, yeah. balls, Jack. Now tell me, there's <laughs> a, there is a woman who has gone. I've got to glom onto Jack Sweeney. Ugh. Yeah. Well, um, you know, I would have thought that like Swifties would be mad. Well, there are, of course, Swifties that are mad. Oh, but- of course. But, um, is, but Jay, are you, you dating know, somebody? Think, no, not right now. Um, Jack, we, no, we need he to needs prioritize to play the field. your life. He is a junior right now. When we started talking to this guy, he was a freshman. He was timid. Now he's been all over the news for years. He's a junior. He's letting it soak in. He needs to play the field for a while. This, Brandon, have you seen his social media? Is there evidence of uh, females in Jack Sweeney's life? Jack Sweeney's social media is very, very focused yeah. on what he's doing. That, there was there was definitely people from my school following me today. Um, mm, yeah, uh, and, and all the local Swifties, like all the local Swifties will just love that there's a connection between Jack and Taylor. Exactly. Yeah, like some of my friends that are girls are like, let her know that I'm at, that <laughs> I'm her biggest fan. Stuff like that. <laughs> let her know. Yeah, I'm sure you'll do that <laughs> when you're being deposed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, as far as Taylor Swift, I mean, she has had legitimate stalking issues. I mean, pretty serious. And for someone, I mean, she is the most famous woman in the world. Does that move you at all to say, oh, well, I don't want to contribute and make it any easier for a stalker, so maybe I'll back off Taylor Swift? Or do you feel strongly like, no way, to hell with that. You know, I have nothing to do I, with that. I think, I think the reason if I would, you know, if whether or not I track her or not, you know, of course people will track her now because, yeah. you know, people know about it. Well, is anybody else but, tracking her beside uh, you? I think the re, uh, well, there's a subreddit the now. <laughs> oh, like, okay. Yeah. Because you are kind of the one-stop government stalking headquarters. She's a psyop. <laughs> for these people. Uh, Jack Sweeney at Welcome Incel Stalkers. Wow. Yeah, I think if I stopped, it would just because I would be getting annoyed by like this continually. Like people just keep annoying me about it, you know. Jack, you know who who is the most? Who, what's what gets to you? I mean, when wh- what makes you at the point where you go, oh God, I don't know if this is worth it. I mean, is there something that's happened or some individual that contacted you? When does it really get you down? I feel like this is like the one that seems the worst because like. Uh, it's just like that letter was like so like off putting. Uh, yeah. The way it like tries to put me in like, and really I don't think that's I don't think it's about privacy and safety. I think it's about the emissions, and it comes. I've been tracking her for a long time, and then it just comes right before Christmas, and then on a Friday, which is like the end of the news cycle. So like, if that went public, then it wouldn't have gotten much. Attention during the Christmas week. How, how did it end up this big in this public now? Because, yeah, the, the letter's dated December 22nd. Uh, there was people I, like, shared it with in Discord, and then uh, it got around to Reddit in a couple places. So, like, I, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't, I didn't really, don't think I meant for it to get out, but I think it's good that it did now so people know the truth about what happened because yeah. people were asking what happened to the, the Instagram account, and I didn't, uh, I didn't take it down, but Meta, uh, Facebook, and Instagram, they all took down those accounts like an hour after I got the letter. So yeah. she also threatened Send it to them. Meta. Yeah. Wait, they took down your accounts? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Why? So no one's really reporting on that. And they provide— Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Take, what? No, t- explain to me. Why did they take the accounts down? She asked them to. Yeah, she came out. Exactly. So what? Exactly. People ask for a lot of things. She's Taylor Swift, Drew. Yeah. No, but— and she's all, the other, but she's this, all the other accounts on Meta platforms that I have are still up tracking people. So, like, as far as I know, and there was people, in supposed insiders, that said that they provided an exception to her and her account. Huh. Wait, I don't understand this. I thought that the the tracking took place on Twitter primarily. No, no this was your mainly Instagram and Threads, right? I thought. <laughs> yeah, that's go- yeah, and those are wiped out you now by them. Like because there were there was the they were tracking on those. So just on the basis of a Taylor Swift letter, <laughs> they took those down. Yeah, it seems like it. I mean, it, there, there's no way her team definitely contacted them. Have you? I, I got. Have you gone back and I, said, uh, hey, wait, I, there's another side of the story. I want to be restored. And have you had any uh, luck with that? I sent them emails, but, like, I never heard anything. And I, I'm hoping that now that this is be- because it's out, I hope we get some kind of statement from them, I think. Well, that, that's – I, I just can't believe – usually, I mean, they move very slowly and deliberately about these kind of things. But the, a letter comes out and, boom, they just take your accounts down? What the fuck? Usually they wait till the federal government tells them to do that. Yeah, now we know <laughs> how to control Meta. Wow. Sick Taylor Swift on them. Yeah. That's uh, – that's, I'm I'm really surprised by that. Are you? Are you? Though? And, and, and yeah, that Taylor Swift can do that. She's a she's like her own. No, I know, but it's, it's important to share information like this because, like, just a company to them, it, it's like just a swipe under the rug of you know they don't care. Yeah, so there's nothing. There's nothing illegal. It's not it. illegal to do what he's doing. No. So yeah. I just don't know on what basis it seems to be. Have they explained? Okay, what is the sure. basis for taking you down? Yeah, because uh, they'll oh for taking him down. Yeah, I was gonna say is, for, is, for not taking because Taylor could threaten to take her stuff off of there too, and they want the traffic. No, no, I just want to know what they said to Jack. What did they tell you, Jack, as far as why they took it down? I didn't tell him any. Didn't tell him. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, like they just provided one of the like normal reasons, like oh privacy and safety or something like that. Yeah. Broad. <laughs> but it's, it's not like a special statement just for me from someone at the company. It's like the system. Hmm. Okay, what if, let's just say that <laughs> Taylor Swift or Elon Musk came to you and said, hey, look, uh, I realize you really get off on doing this, and I uh, hate to take that away from you, but could you drop the carbon footprint stuff, and then we won't, we won't complain about it at all, and you can keep tracking me. What would you do? Um, I, I don't know. Um, wait, wait, what? say that again. If they, if they said, can you just stop talking about the carbon footprint and that stuff and just, just track the plane, just, just track the plane, but just leave not the carbon, leave stuff. off the environmental um, crap. Would you I, say, yeah, maybe. fine. Great. That, yeah. Maybe. Cause that would prove the point that it's not about <laughs> privacy and safety. Which is why they can't do it. Well, after they, reading that letter, I don't think yeah. they would want you to point that out. I think they would want you to just do it. <laughs> Yeah, that would probably spoil yeah. it. You'd probably be back in court. Jack, do you have, do you have, you must have a, a team of lawyers? Do you have a team of lawyers? A team. <laughs> uh, there are a few people that um, I've uh, talking to, and yeah. Because um, legally, you're fine in this, right? Isn't that is that their stance? Like you're not. This is all public information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you running up some big legal tabs though, or are they doing this pro bono? Pro bono. Yeah. Uh, there, there's a. Uh, I, I got in contact with the EFF, and um, there's right, people right. through there that have been able to help me out. What's the EFF? Uh, the Electric uh, Electronic Frontier Foundation. Uh, it's almost Should like I known that? ACLU, FF? kind of. Seems like that's the EF. For Internet Matters. Okay. I think he said EF. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What happens one morning? You wake up and you open the door, and Travis Kelsey's standing there. <laughs> Is that going to change your opinion? Yeah, yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. No, you never know. Know. Are there any other Jesse? You know, do crazy things in love. Jack, are there any? Are there any you know, other people you're tracking that are a big deal for you? Beside, I mean, Elon and Taylor would be about as big as it gets. Plus, they don't like it, so it makes it even bigger. But who else are you tracking that's that you get a lot of uh, traction from? Um, you know, in celeb jets, there was uh, kind of a big deal about Travis Scott. He was going to his concerts. Mm-hmm. Um, Does he mind? 
Not that I know of. <laughs> it's um, carbon footprint. That'll be next, next month's headlines. What, oh. what about the Kardashians? No, they don't there's, care. There's people that pay attention to it, but not that big of a deal. Um, they're fading. Mm. Ooh. You know, you know who's an interesting one that I pay attention to because my mom uh, has interest in is Blake Shelton, and huh. they changed their tail number because now it's like Gwen Blake, and like it's when they got married. Huh. Oh, the, the tail number. Oh. oh, Gwen Stefani. Gwen Stefani yeah, oh, that's funny. How simple, yeah. huh? Uh, but uh, yeah. do you watch the news on a on a fairly regular basis to see if maybe there's somebody who gets really uh, seems to you know jump up in importance news wise so you, so you can start tracking them? I don't. Uh, not really. It's usually when I because like if you start from the side where you're looking for that person's jet versus like invest, it's easier to like look at jets and then figure out from the jet who that person is versus the other way around. Oh, usually, really? I think. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I would think you'd want you want to follow the people that generate the most interest, right? Um. Or just the biggest carbon footprint, or both. I don't know. I, I no. I I don't know. I don't even have that all tabbed up. The who's the biggest? There's usually people who take my work and do that. I see. Oh. Well, um, and as far as monetizing it, it. it is this been something that you've struggled to do or you haven't figured out how to monetize it or you don't have the time to monetize it? Because it seems like, I mean, uh, as much attention like as you combination. get. I mean, yeah, there's like a whole combination of that, pretty much. Do you have advertisers running on any of your social media? You sell ads? Uh, no. Um, I probably could have. Yeah, you could. You could. Taylor account before it got suspended. Um, what about TikTok or YouTube? You know, I I kind of don't really like TikTok like a lot of people because <gasps> you sh open it and you sit there for like an hour oh, God, and then you yeah. get off and it's like this uh, horrible feeling. Yeah, you feel empty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, to for me to post on there, I would need to create something more like engaging. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about it like I could create AI video based video <laughs> like automatically. <laughs> Based yeah. off of the flight data. Um, yeah, go all in nerd. Come on, do that. I think there's there's something there's better choices to do than spend time on videos for TikTok. I agree. Um, what about YouTube? Uh, YouTube's a better one because like you do a live stream. Yeah. Um, oh, well, we're yeah. waiting, Jack. Super, when super when is this going to happen? Yeah. yeah, you get super chats super from fans. I know, I know. There's there's so many projects. And I got one today. for you, Jack. Only fans. <laughs> uh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, you just talk about planes on there. The plane yeah. community's huge. Jack's just getting around to meeting chicks. Come on, he's yeah. a young oh, guy. Oh, I didn't mean that. All about. Get your minds out of the gutter. I wasn't talking about sexual. There's non-sexual stuff on OnlyFans. I've heard. Yeah, oh. I'm sure. You, I'm sure I could automate the the Elon Jet post under there. <laughs> there you go. Well, uh, yeah. well. Anyway, it's uh, it's been a whirlwind. I mean, you're, it's amazing how many stories there are about this. Once Taylor Swift jumps into the fray, it just comes to a whole nother level. Uh, are, are do you are you getting piled on by Swifties? Because you said a lot of Swifties really like you because they can find out where she is at all times. But but generally, when Taylor doesn't like something, the Swifties can really pile on that person. But that yeah, has that it's, happened. It's it's half half really. Um, you know, there's people that do and don't. Is it overwhelming to be attacked by these people? Um, I don't know. I mean, I've experienced people saying stuff to me already, so it's like whatever. It's just it's keyboard warriors. How did you get <laughs> Jack? How did you get such thick skin? I was very think, calm. I mean, I, I'm impressed That's by how man. how well you handle this. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm just sharing the information so like i don't i don't think there's much to worry about it it gets a little annoying sometimes when there's too much to handle but what one of the things we um, left one of the things we left What'd off yeah one of the things we left out is uh your response to her um and, and you mentioned her tail number what is what is the tail number of her planes well she just sold one uh n898 ts like in the past two weeks and so that gives it away that it's her and another one is n621 mm 
Um, but the TS but for yeah. Taylor Swift, the 89, the year she was born, 89. It's an album. Yeah, I'm going to have to go. What? Um, but uh, it was great to talk to you guys. Wait, where are you going, hey, Jack? You that, was, that was really abrupt. Uh, yeah. That was really do, abrupt do, and Do awkward. we do something? <laughs> I mean, it sounds like there's a bunch no, of Swifties no. banging on your door. <laughs> no, there's other stuff going on. Do you have another interview? Better be a chick. No, no. Is okay. it? Yeah, is it a babe? <laughs> okay. Thank All right, Jack. No, no, it's not. Yeah, it's it not. Is. Okay. Thanks, all right, man. Jack. Thanks for the time. We'll talk soon, I hope. I hope this all works out for yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you, you bet.